my earth sign Taurus. What is up and what is good with y'all? Happy birthday to all the Tauruses out there. Happy birthday, y'all. So this is going to be a whatever comes out love reading for you guys. This is going to be for the person on you guys' minds right now for the next 48 hours, okay? So this is what's expected to happen in the next 48 hours. Take whatever resonates with y'all and leave the rest for another Taurus, okay? I was about to call y'all Virgo. So you may have Virgo highly aspected in your chart somewhere, okay? Or um, you may be connected to a Virgo, okay? Taurus placements, you're also welcome to join in on this reading. And cross watchers, you're welcome as well. This reading may resonate with you. Okay, like this video up, you guys. If this reading is the highest viewed video as far as likes and views on this channel, I will be performing a bonus reading for you guys. So, there's a twin flame um, connection here. You're in a twin flame connection or this is somebody that you have a soul tied to. Okay, I feel like this person, you see them as a psycho, okay? A crazy ex who's very obsessed with you and will not let you go. And I feel like this person in the recent past and has some workplace affairs, okay? This person may have been sleeping with someone that they work with, all right? Yeah, and I'm seeing that. You feel as though this person sold you a dream. They put you in a fairy tale state of mind or this person caused an illusion. They're a trickster. You see this person as someone who is phony, okay? And I feel like you have closed the cycle out with this person. You are done with this divine ma uh, feminine. I could be speaking to a male here in this reading or you are a female, okay? Because the truth was exposed. You guys made a discovery and had an awakening about this person, about who they really are. Yeah, this person has a sex addiction, you guys. And I feel like y'all keep bumping heads. It seems like y'all not compatible or you two don't get along. And I feel like you left this person hanging. There's no closure. You left them on red. There's no contact here because you see this person as a complete jackass. So you feel like this person acts like a jackass. Okay, what else is coming through for Taurus? Sun, moon, or rising? What is coming through for Taurus? What is coming through? Messages for Taurus in the next 48 hours. Messages for Taurus. Next 48 hours. What is coming through for Taurus? Someone arising. Okay. Shattered. Someone feels like they are broken into a million pieces. Okay. Someone feels very much shattered. Because I feel like somebody here is going through a spiritual warfare. Okay. In their energy. There's a lot of chaos here. I'm seeing an ego death. I'm seeing a downward spiral. Okay. A spiritual awakening. This is forcing your person to go through a spiritual awakening here. Okay. That's what I see. What else? What else is coming through? I feel like this person has feelings for you, um, Taurus, okay? And I do feel like this person is checking your GPS, your location, to see where you are, where you're going, or what you're doing. Or you may have checked this person's GPS to see if they are where they really say they are, okay? Somebody has someone's location, all right? So let's see. Maybe you two share locations, yeah, I just feel like this person didn't want anything serious here. I feel like this person wanted like a friends with benefits type relationship. Uh, they didn't want any strings attached. This person had their options open, okay, Taurus. And I feel like they kept these secrets from you about them entertaining other people outside of you guys' connection. And if they try to come back, it's too late. It's too little, too late, okay. You're showing up as the queen bee or you could be a male showing up as a boss, this could be you career focused, confident, and secure in the next 48 hours. This person is losing sleep. They're worried, replaying things over again in their mind. They're thinking about you because they know that it is too late. This person is an enabler. They make bad choices. They like to party. They like to drink all the time, do drugs. They live an unhealthy, promiscuous, toxic-ass lifestyle. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. So let's pull from another spread. If those messages resonate with you, make sure that you guys subscribe for more videos. Okay, let's get into the next spread and see what's coming through for my Taurus in love. Whatever comes out, that's what we're going to go with, guys. Again, if it doesn't fit to your story, do not force it. Take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest for another Taurus. One more shuffle. 
pie. All right, let's get into this next spread and see what spirit has for you, what messages are coming out. Okay, yeah, this person knows that you have a knowing about something. You're very intuitive. You're very mysterious at this time. I'm seeing the color red, so spirit is wanting you to focus on that root chakra of yours, okay? I'm also seeing that they're getting tarot readings on you, okay? Your person could be a tarot reader, okay? Let's see what else is coming through. What else is coming through for Taurus? Messages for Taurus, next 48 hours. Messages for Taurus for the next 48 hours, 48 hours from now. What is expected to happen in the next 48 hours from now for Taurus, summer rising? Okay. Hmm. I feel like somebody is coming back through. Somebody is coming back around, but you may feel as though this person is trying to love bomb you. This person is emotionally manipulative. They're a Casanova, a ladies' man, and somebody wants your attention. You could be pregnant by this person. That is clarification. Mm -hmm. That is confirmation, okay? I feel like this person wants to come through and love bomb you and tell you that they want you to have their baby or get you pregnant or you may hear news of a pregnancy around you. Okay, let's see. What else is coming through? What other messages are coming through here? I feel like this person does talk about you. Okay, to other people. You may have wanted to have a family or start a family with this person, but I feel like they left you in a depressed state right here. Okay, this person could be telling someone a sob story, playing the victim here. Okay, let's see what else is coming through. Why is Love Bomber here? Yeah, this person feels like you are aligning with your purpose. I feel like the stars are aligning for you here because you're on another path. You're taking a new route. You're on a new path. You're accepting your story. This person feels like you're on the right track when it comes to life, when it comes to yourself. This person sees you as their first love, so no one compares to you. This person is coming off as though you're their first true love, but you feel like it would be very risky for you to reconcile with this person because they're coming back around. They want to work things out with you. They want to make things right. They may bring flowers around. Again, that red is pointing out to me about the root chakra, so I feel like you guys need to balance that out. But this person, I feel like... There's unfinished business between you and this person, but you feel as though it is very risky. This would be very risky for you to take this person back. What else is coming through for Taurus and love? What else is coming out? You may have heard rumors or gossip about this person. Yeah, they want to make it up to you. Because this person's been running from you. They broke promises and they want to make it up to you. They want to bring in a gesture from the heart. A romantic dinner or a gift. How are you seeing this person's gesture? You feel like this person is a thorn in your ass. But this person, you see that this person is fighting for the relationship. They're fighting for your love. What else? What else is coming through? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, but this person, you see them as a player. You see this person as someone who is playing the field with you, refusing to commit to you. You feel like this person um, sees that the grass is greener on the other side, which it is not. This is somebody that you could be dating. Okay. But I feel like you're ready to start dating someone new. You may have met a new love interest. Yeah, you're getting over this player for majority of you. And I feel like there's a faded event happening right here. Something unexpected, a surprise, something that you did not see coming. Very unpredictable. I feel like this person is going to travel in towards you out of the blue. Or you're taking a break from this person, taking some time off, going on a getaway trip or adventure here. And you're putting them in the friend zone. You have friend zoned this person because they took too long. They took a long time to bring you this offer. And I feel like they're rushing in before it's too late. And they know they're walking on thin ice with you because they got some secrets here. A secret lover or a secret admirer. You're being asked to move in silence because there's more to be revealed here. Okay, Taurus, I feel like there is a third party situation going on here. So you could be a third party or your person involved you in a third party situation here. There's competition. There's an enemy. You may see this person as an enemy. But I just feel like something is interfering. One more. Okay. 
Yeah, see, this person, they feel like they can't escape from something here, but they made you a lot of broken promises. They misled you. The trust is broken. They are unreliable. This person runs from you, ignores the connection. Yeah, because they've been um, lying to themselves about how they feel about you. They've been lying to themselves about this connection. And I feel like they're angry because they want to they wanna renew this connection. They still have hope. You know, your love is haunting them, but I feel like this person is spying, watching you from a distance, watching you from afar. Okay, yeah, you feel like you can't take nothing that this person says seriously because they're very foolish. They make foolish choices. They play games and tricks. You could be in the spotlight or both of you are in the spotlight, a power couple, or people envy the connection. Yeah, but you feel like this person is just too many red flags, it's too many lies, it's too many secrets. You feel like this person has bad intentions. Spirit is wanting you to be vigilant, be smart, and protect your energy when it comes to this energy. Protect your energy when it comes to this particular person, when it comes to this energy who is coming towards you. Okay. So let's get to tarot. Let's get some tarot and see what messages come out for you. Let's see what messages come out for you here in the tarot. If those messages resonate with you guys, make sure that you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Alright. So somebody's feeling really sad and crying, regretful and remorseful. Mm-hmm. This person was making it difficult for you. They were making it hard for you to maintain a stable relationship with the Ten of Wands. You felt drained. Your energy has been drained and you feel weighed down and burdened and overworked and overburdened and overwhelmed by this person. Okay, I feel like you're in a committed relationship or marriage with this person or this person could even be married. But I'm seeing a lot of baggage, a lot of burdens. And I feel like you're putting those burdens down and you're learning some very spiritual lessons here. This could be talking about an organization, a group, or a job here. Okay, but you're being guided away from this, whatever this is. You're being guided away to a place of peace and calmer waters here. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. I feel like you may have moved out or moved away from a marriage or committed relationship. You're not talking to someone right now. Okay, I feel like you're not happy. Because you had to leave someone behind. Okay. Let's see. What else is coming through for Taurus? Yes, this person, you're being guided away because they betrayed you. They caused a major betrayal here. But I'm seeing that the worst is over. This person is about to receive some bad karma here. I feel like their luck and fortune is not going in their favor. Things are not going in their favor in their life. And I'm seeing a new beginning here, a brand new, passionate beginning for you, a fresh new start here, a clean slate. This could be uh, with a person. This could be this person coming through wanting a clean slate with you, wanting a brand new, passionate beginning with you. But this could be the spark of a new idea. You could be a singer, a rapper, a photographer, or you like to draw. Yeah, that's what I see here. Let's see what else is coming through for Taurus. All right, yeah, this person is about to get some bad karma because I feel like this person friend zoned you. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. And with the Page of Cups, this person is showing up as a page. So you see them as very immature. Okay. Very childish. All right, what else is coming out for Taurus? I feel like there's a lack of communication between the two of you or no communication at all here. A Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a, a fellow Taurus, a Gemini, Libra, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a yeah, Scorpio. This person wants to apologize to you. They want to bring you some form of an apology. And I want to send you a message or a love letter or DM you or text you or call you. They want to have some balance with you, an equal give and take. They want to give you something nice. It could be money. It could be a gift. Yeah, but I feel like you're ignoring this person. You could be indecisive or you don't see this coming. I feel like there's a lack of communication or blocked communication between the two of you. Yeah, you may have been married to this person and had a family with them. Or this person 
is already married and has a family. You may have been in a committed relationship with this person for some time here. But what I'm seeing here is that this person wants something stable, solid, and committed with you now after this betrayal. Okay, but I feel like you're blocking this person with the Eight of Swords. You may be feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked here, okay? Or you feel like this person just wants to keep you stuck. Some of y'all feel like this person wants a relationship with you as opposed to your finances. But I feel like for the majority of you, you're blocking this person. Yeah, because you're questioning their intentions, their motives. You feel like they have hidden motives. You don't know where you stand with this person. I actually do feel like you don't see this coming right here, um, Taurus. And I do see that, you know, you could be confused when this does come through for you because... You don't know where you stand with this person, you know, because this person kept you in the dark about a lot of things. They keep secrets from you. So I feel like, you know, this person, they definitely do want to balance things out with you. You know, they want to do things right by you this time and reconnect with you and be in a relationship with you. Yeah, they want to bring you an apology, okay? This person from your past here, but I do see you holding back. This person could be married or you're married to this person. But I feel like you are happy. You could be hope. You could be happy that you're holding back from this person, or you may have been married to this person, or you have children with them. But I just feel like whoever you're holding your energy back from, Taurus, this person sees a future with you. They see that you are um, the one who makes them happy and emotionally fulfills them. Okay, yeah, and I feel like they want to step up to the plate and show you how much they've matured. I feel like you have shaken this person up because they received some bad karma. They have lost money, property, resources. I feel like people do not want to pay for their services. People do not want to work with this person, you know, and they are feeling very, very sorry. They know that they're receiving their karma because they're losing things. Okay, that's what I see here. And I feel like they want to take control of the situation. Yeah, they want to work with you. This could be a boss, this could be a manager, a co-worker, this could be somebody you work with or do business with, this could be your father or a father figure, or you are like the baby's daddy, or this could be your baby's daddy. But I feel like this person wants to step up to the plate, it could be an Aries, and they want to work with you and collaborate with you and make plans to meet up and partner up with you. Okay, yeah, it could be a Gemini who you're connected to, but I feel like this person is trying to manifest um, working together with you, okay? They feel like if you put in teamwork with them, it'll make the dream work. Okay, that's what I feel. That's the truth with the Ace of Swords. I feel like this Gemini wants to speak to you. I do. Or this Libra or this Aquarius. They want to have an honest, truthful conversation with you. Okay, I feel like you could be at a distance from this person. Or you waiting for your ships to come in. For some of y'all, your ships is already here. And I feel like you're taking a sleep of faith into the unknown. This is going to happen when you least expect it. I feel like you guys do not see this coming. But um, let's pull some more messages from another tarot spread. Just to, you know, clarify. Okay. What's coming through for Taurus and love? Yeah, this person sees you as somebody that could take care of themselves. You have your own money. You may have a secret bank account. Um, this person feels as though you are a, a good businesswoman or a good businessman. Very generous, very loyal. You may be a witch or a healer, okay? Yeah, this person sees you as someone who is stable, solid, committed, and loyal. Yeah, I feel like this could be somebody you are married to or this is somebody you share resources and property with. They want to have intimacy with you, okay? This person may be sending you some nudes. They may try to send you some nudes. Okay, some new pictures of them, but I just feel like they want a clean slate with you. They want to nurture the relationship, Queen of Pentacles. They want to nurture this connection with you. They want a clean slate. They want a fresh new start. They want a brand new passion to beginning with you. I feel like this person is going to be more than generous of their time, money, and resources when it comes to you. Okay, this could be a fire sign or a fellow earth sign like yourself. This could be you. But I see that somebody here has a lot of passion for you and they want to commit to you. They see long-term stability here with you. Okay, some of y'all, this could be your baby mama or baby daddy or this person is pregnant or you could be pregnant. 
Okay, but I just feel like, you know, this person felt as though you were too good for them. This person felt as though you were out of their league. And now I'm seeing that they want a reunion with you. They want to come back home, okay, with the 1111 card here. I feel like with this Four of Wands, this person sees you as a twin. You may have been married to this person or y'all lived together or y'all had talked about starting a family and getting married, getting engaged or living together. But I see that this person wants to come in and pop the question because the Four of Wands... It's like a marriage ceremony card. This is like an engagement proposal. Or this is like a, a birthday party, a celebration, a baby shower. This could be a housewarming. Some of y'all moved into a new house or y'all about to move into a new house. And I'm seeing a celebration. Yeah, whatever this is, I feel like you're going to be happy. The sun, this could be happening around the summer months where you're going to get everything that you want. Nine of cups, okay? I feel like your wish is coming true here. But you may feel like it's a waste of time dealing with this person from your past here, okay? I had to flip the seven of pentacles up right because it was in the reverse from my last reading so some of y'all may feel like it's a waste of time dealing with this person and some of y'all feel like y'all don't want to give this relationship up okay yeah this person is still very attracted to you they find you to be very sexy very alluring here and i do see that this person they are going to reach out to you they are going to send you a message, a text, an email, a DM or some sort, okay? And I feel like when this person comes in, you may be eager to uh, rush in towards them with this heated discussion. Or this could be an argument. Be careful not to argue with this person because I'm seeing that when this person does reach out to you, you are going to be in the midst of wanting to get something off of your chest here. Okay, this person may be working in the military, the army, okay, or this is someone that talks really fast here, but I'm seeing that with the Knight of Swords, this is someone that's about to chase you down. Okay, this is someone that's coming towards you really quickly to bring something to your attention, or you're coming in to bring something to someone else's attention. Six of Wands here. There's news or a message that's being brought to your attention here. It could be about your car. You may need to get an oil change or you may need to um, update your driver's license or you may need to have some sort of tune up with your car or if you have a car or um, you could be getting your car fixed. Okay, but I'm seeing forward movement. I'm seeing you moving forward. Okay, after this betrayal, I feel like you just put yourself in isolation mode. You didn't want to be bothered with this person. You didn't want to talk to this person. Some of y'all stay in the house a lot. So I feel like, yeah, this person wants to give up the excuse or explanation. They don't want to give this up. They want to fight for the connection. And they're not going to give up. But I feel like you could be pushing this person off or shunning this person away. Yeah, that's the truth. You're showing up very defensive and on a defense here when this conversation comes through because this person is showing up to be someone who is very toxic and low vibe with the devil here. Okay, this could be a Capricorn who you're connected to or you may actually see this person as a devil. Okay, but I just feel like this person, they're obsessed with you. Okay, they may come in and tell you like, hey, I'm obsessed with you. You know, this person has a sex addiction or some sort of an addiction to alcohol, drugs, gambling, binge watching, you know, or just some low vibrational energy. This person could be operating in the place of fear because they know they have to be honest with you and they are afraid of being honest with you, but they hope that this will heal the situation with the star. You could be connected to an Aquarius. They hope that you guys can heal things, mend things, and work things out together because they do feel some sort of way that you closed out a cycle with them and I'm seeing them wanting to travel towards you and reconcile with you because they still have love for you, okay? They want to give you an apology. They want to balance things out with you, okay? But you're being called to listen to your intuition when it comes to this person from your past because they're coming back or the past is revisited. Something about the past is resurfacing. Or this person is just coming back into your lives. Wanting forgiveness. Wanting another chance. Okay, this may also have something to do with your children as well. Let's see what's coming through for Taurus. Let's get a few messages and then I'm going to let you guys go. So you're a mature woman. You could be older than this person who you are dating. Or this person is older than you. Yeah, this is somebody from your past here. Okay, I feel like you're ready to start dating someone new here. I'm seeing you going out to dinner. If you do date someone new or if your friend hooks you up with somebody, try to play matchmaker. I see you being wined and dined and going out to a nice dinner. 
Okay, I don't know if this is with a past love. I feel like a friend is trying to bring you and somebody back together that you separated yourself from. Okay, stop criticizing yourself, Taurus. You are perfect just the way that you are. Yeah, I don't know. This person has a lot of passion for you. There is chemistry there between you two, but... Let's see, what's this? Yep, yeah, didn't I tell you this is somebody you had to separate yourself from? This is somebody you had to distance yourself from. Okay, this is somebody who's at a long distance from you. Okay, yeah, this person put you in a third-party situation here. But I feel like spirit is needing this person or you to make a choice. For some of y'all, this was a long-distance relationship. Release your worries and receive universal abundance because that's what's coming in for you. Okay, when you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm. No anxiety and no agitation. So that's how you're going to know who your soulmate is. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you guys feel free. You feel a sense of freedom, lightness. Okay, if you are dating someone, I'm just seeing it very casual right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm just seeing you guys dating casually. Or you're single. But I feel like you're free. You freed yourself from addictions, a person, a place, or, a, a, you know, something. You are on your way to a steady and reliable path. So you are moving. You Some of you guys could be packing up and moving. Moving somewhere else. Relocating. Yeah, I feel like you just want a relationship that's casual. You're not ready for commitment. You may have your options open. Where you may have to choose between two different people here. One more for Taurus. Again, happy birthday to y'all. Happy belated birthday for all those who birthdays have already passed. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without going within and finding that peace within yourself first. Okay. Yeah, because I see that you're not giving up. I know I said one more, but you're not giving up on what you really want, Taurus. Okay. And I see that you are taking your power back and you're releasing this person who just wanted some form of control over you. Yeah, start reclaiming who you truly are. Some of y'all are doing this now and some of you needing to step into that power of reclaiming who you truly are because I feel like you guys may have lost yourselves in this connection. Okay, and once you do, money, 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 luck and fortune starts to flow into your life. Okay, your finances are increasing. Your luck and fortune is changing. And I feel like you're receiving some good karma. So those are your messages, Taurus. That is your reading. I'm going to be coming back with a more shorter version of another reading for you guys. The energy check-in. So if you're interested in that read, stay tuned. If you like this reading, if it resonates with you, um, if you found some clarity in it, or if it helps you any, make sure that you guys like this video up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. Turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys. I love you guys so much. Until next time, bye Taurus. I'll see y'all in the next week.